Hi guys, welcome back to Retrospect. Today's video is from the 36 days of type hashtag that was created by the 36 days of type account on Instagram. I'm going to be showing you how I painted the letter J, which I started off with J's for jump and then I ended up at Mario. I just wanted to paint an old fashioned TV set with a really cute NES and some little pixel guys on top. So I thought I could make it look like a letter J and it kind of does but I more so just really wanted the opportunity to paint this subject matter because I think it's really cute. So I started off just with drawing everything out in pencil and using a ruler to make sure the lines were straight and then just going in and putting a light wash on everything for the flat colors. I found it was very difficult to keep inside the lines of the pixel areas, especially with my paintbrush. If I were to do a painting like this again, I would do it larger because the small little pixels are very hard to squeeze a brush into. And again, if it were larger, I would make sure to tape off every pixel area. It would definitely be more time consuming, but if I wanted that really crisp, perfect looking line, then I would have to do that. But for this piece, I just sort of settled with slightly squishy square shapes instead of actual pixels. My favorite part of this piece is the TV, and I really liked doing the Super Mario level image in the television. It's just kind of roughly done. I mean, I didn't want the sky to look very perfect and all filled in blue, so that's why it looks a little painterly, and that's kind of the look I was going for, because I realized that I was going to have to embrace a lack of perfection with my pixels because they weren't going to be straight and square anyways, so I thought I would just give this more of a hand-painted look than I had originally intended. I'm using my new Winsor & Newton Cotman paintbrush. It's a zero paintbrush and it's really nice. I find that even though I try my best to not leave my brushes in the water bowl when I'm not using them, sometimes I do and if some of the ones that I've had for a while and painted with very consistently, the tips of the brushes get a slight J curve, hat <laughs> letter J, but they do get a slight curve to the tip and sometimes it's not as good to work with, so I like to get a new brush every once in a while. And I do vow to take care of that brush, but inevitably it gets sort of misused along the way. So now for the outlines of all the pixels and stuff, I started off using a Derwent graphic liner pen, but I found that the ink wasn't as dark as I would have wanted, so I switched to a Stedler fine liner pigment marker, and that seemed to work better. And I'm using a ruler here and just trying my best, but kind of failing, to do all the outlines of the pixels, the horizontal lines and then the vertical lines. And I'm switching between the two, giving each set of lines a chance to dry so that I don't smudge it with my ruler because that would be just the worst. And then my plan was to fill in all these areas with India ink and a paintbrush afterwards. But it's just as a guideline to help me keep the lines more crisp than they would be if I just freehanded them. They still end up looking kind of wonky, but it did help me a bit. As you can see, my ruler went a little too far in some cases, so I did have to edit this piece a lot in Photoshop afterwards. For the 36 days of type project, I've been editing all of my pieces in Photoshop afterwards just to remove the, the beige of the paper and to make the little lines and everything look really crisp. And this piece I had to edit a lot of the not so straight edges on some of the things and I think overall this piece would have worked better if it were treated as just a composition as opposed to me trying to force these things to be a letter J. this controller cable I colossally messed up. I had to just erase that all in Photoshop and then redraw it. So this is the final painting and then next you'll see how I've edited it in Photoshop and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I will see you in the next one. Bye!